Okay, so I didn't like the way it ended up before, so I've redone the ballasting. And just for you guys who uh, sent me messages about the rail being kinked and stuff, here's the uh, reworked area that I did. Uh, looks a lot better. Uh, still a little bit out of gauge, but I get that fixed. I've got a nice track gauge here that I'll use. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit loose there, and I'll probably have to put another sp uh, spike or so in there if I can find some. And uh, and it should be okay. But uh, I went with a little bit smaller ballast and uh, a little bit different colors here and there. It's still a little wet from the 50-50 glue mixture, but as you can see, it looks a little bit more uniform now. And I think once it dries and I get it cleaned up tomorrow, I will uh, I will hook some drains up and see see how everything goes. I'll get all the ballast out of the middle rail, and make sure nothing derails on it. And once I get that done, I will start having some more fun. Uh, been working on the model motoring track here. Started putting some rail zip on it uh, to help with the uh, continuity of the track and stuff. And I think I'm going to try that on the flat portion of the uh, trains here. I don't know about doing it with the uh, with the mountain and stuff because it's a 2% grade, which is not bad. Um, but... I've, I've read comments where they say the uh, oily substance, if you get too much on the track, you can't get any traction. So I'm a little worried that uh, you might not get traction. Plus, it might, end up, might eat up the rubber uh, traction tires faster, too. So I, I, I may or may not use it. I, I'm still debating. If anybody has... Uh, any suggestions, uh, let me know. Um, I, I would appreciate it uh, in the comment section here. Or give me a call, 513-501-7917, and uh, we can chit-chat on the phone. I bought this today up at Dixie Union Station. It's, a, it's one of the first Menards buildings. It's made out of wood and plastic. Really very cool. Um, it's got my dog on it, Fritz. And uh, actually, it's not my dog. It's the Menards dog, I guess. And uh, the only thing wrong with this was it had the railing busted off of it. It's got a Miller uh, Engineering Budweiser sign inside of it. A lot of nice details on it. A lot of uh, painting on the side. And you can see on the back here, it's Menards. It's a Runs off a four and a half volt adapter, which I got tons of those because of the Christmas Village. And then it's got two switches on it, so I have to see what those are for. I clean up the top of it a little bit, put a little snow on it, and I think we'll be all right. It looks really good. The Fisher Peanuts, the RC, cold beer on tap with the Budweiser inside. So I think I'm going to get one of the larger Miller Engineering signs and put on top. Maybe the Flying Eagle that they have for Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch. I think that would look kind of cool on top of there. All right. Well, that's progress for uh, for the week, I guess, since my last video I posted. Uh, appreciate you watching. And like I said, any suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments about the rail zip. Uh, I've had this bottle for probably five years and I still haven't used it, so I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great week, everybody.